The Cinderella story of the St. Peter's Peacocks basketball team piqued interest in the university, quickly leading to a rise in applications and likely enrollment. And that means revenue for the private university over in Jersey City. At news, as News 12 New Jersey's Marcy Rubin reports, it's a big win for all students. Yeah, so I definitely fell in love with the school as soon as I got here. And wanting to spread that St. Peter's love and pride is why junior psychology student Kimberly Rojas has been giving campus tours since her freshman year. Her last few tours have been a bit different. A lot of people asking about sports, asking more about, you know, what is St. Peter's? So I love being part of that. The admissions department has also noticed that uptick in interest. Since the Peacocks win over Kentucky last week, they've received more than 80 new applications from prospective students. Normally during a week in March, they'd see about None. <laughs> Beth Sullivan is the vice president of enrollment management and marketing at St. Peter's and believes all those new applications for fall 2022 are a direct result of what's happening on the basketball court and it's leading to big wins campus wide sports. Um, as we know from other schools who have had this Cinderella effect, um, that it's a way for us to have a, a, a burst into awareness, um, but through admissions and visiting campus. And this growing interest isn't coming from just Jersey City and the Hudson County area where traditionally a majority of prospective students live. This interest is coming from all over the country. In fact, researchers tell Forbes magazine the Cinderella effect could increase freshman enrollment at St. Peter's by 4.4% or $800,000, which is a decent amount for a small college. Meanwhile, those who are already fans of the team and the university are happy to share that peacock pride with the world. That's been our story for 150 years. Opportunities for generations mean something. We are a school that transforms students' lives. In Jersey City, Marcy Rubin, News 12, New Jersey. St. Peter's has already accepted 85% of its fall 2022 class, but is keeping the rest open for a rolling admission.